Guys, I wish I would have done that so much earlier with my arrangement. It changed everything. So sometimes you may notice that your arrangement is a bit flat or let's say a bit repetitive. Or maybe you have a really good arrangement of really cool parts, but then there's this one part which sucks at some point. And you really want to bring your whole track to the maximum level. So we want to have like a flow of energy and deepness through the whole track. And a single part can ruin it for all the rest of the arrangement. So let's say you have a really killer part, everybody's dancing and then you bring that kind of like sucker punch part, which just screws everything, you know? And I know how hard it is to change things in your arrangement, especially because we as humans are afraid of loss. Um, so it's always kind of like for us, um, more important to avoid loss than to get gain. Uh, so that's kind of like programmed into our biology to be a little bit on the safety side. And I want to show you a trick how you can solve this. Um, so for example, I have this melody here a lot in my track. Um, so it's the same melody, I have it like in different variations. Um, and I want to bring something a little bit different here in that part. So let me play this quickly for you so that you see the difference later. And just saying, in that case, there's nothing really wrong with that part. I like the part actually, but it's a little bit too much of that melody. And especially as I'm bringing it in the middle part and in the second half again, I wanted to reduce the amount of having this melody to keep it more fresh. And I thought maybe it's better to bring something else and just to announce it like a little bit to make people hot on it and then go later and unleash it full. And I already did this, so I want to show you how I would do this from scratch. Um, so I want to replace this part and to get like peace of mind, we will make a copy of that part. And usually I don't only copy the part, I copy everything which kind of like is around that part. So we could copy like this part or maybe I would say it, <clears throat> it starts like really going to be one unit from here and then the part after. So we will take this, I will make a loop here so that you can see it. And we will duplicate this with Command Shift D and with Command Shift X, you can cut this. So it's basically, you don't have like a copy option. You only have like duplicate and cut and you can delete as well and paste obviously. Um, so then we have the whole part here. And I put that part here to the side. Um, so I already did this here, so I won't do it again here. So that's kind of like the part. Um, and then I'm trying like different options for it. So let's now copy our best option we have created. Um, so this is like this part here, we will duplicate it again. So maybe we wanna change even more stuff. Um, so I will delete everything once I have like finally decided on um, if I wanna keep the arrangement like that. So let's remove that part now. With Command Shift Delete, you can remove, or we could have cut it completely before um, if we are sure that we already um, will change it. And now we can see how the new arrangement flows.
So here I feel we need to still work it out. Um, so what we could also try like cutting this even and see if that kind of like improves the flow as well. Yeah, I think that's like a tiny bit more fluid. Um, so that thinks you can then think if, and because we have all these copies, we can go really wild here. And I also do this like with swapping parts um, from let's say like the right side to the left or just like um, changing parts in between to test if the arrangement actually gets better. And I think that's like super important because here everything seems so laid down and it's kind of like, quite an effort to move like all the things by hand but if you think of this kind of like as blocks which are connected to each other and then you find like the the whole group of things you can take out and replace i think that makes it so much easier actually to change things and i do this like all the time. I mean, you see like here's also, I, I just switched a break before. I had like a different break um, before and now I have like this kind of like more offbeat uh, type of uh, thing here. And before I had something in um, 16 notes, a rolling baseline. And then I had like a rolling baseline mixed with some offbeat stuff. And I just like tested the waters, what could work and what doesn't work. And then obviously we need to now like mix it, connect it a little bit better, maybe to the other parts. But the main thing is, does the track keep you dancing or does it keep you tripping or whatever you want to reach with your track? Um, and if we want to learn more about arrangement and we're spending like three months on arranging on my course and there's so much stuff I can show you and which I cannot squeeze in like 10 minutes of YouTube video. I will start a new course in September, but you can already join the waiting list, which is already quite full. And then I will do some kind of like pre-sale and whoever is on there and jumps in and uh, takes the seat. And also there's like a self-learner video only option, which you can always access. Uh, so I hope to see you in my course.